Hey, what are you playing? It's called Letters with Ubi. It's a game I'm thinking about using in my classroom. It's free, but I have to make sure I'll be able to get the internet in my classroom and that my speakers are loud enough for the children to hear it. Oh, I've seen that game before. It's to help children recognize letters and their sounds, right? Right. What are you using that for? I want to get my kids to start recognizing their letters and sounds. I want them to start reading soon. How does the game work? It's really easy. The child who is playing is given a letter and the sound it makes and an image that starts with that sound. C. C. Crayon. Then they are asked to choose another image on the screen that matches the original letter and the sound it makes. that easy. It's a fast game and a child wins after only choosing three correct letters. Each letter they make correctly, they get a star. What age group do you plan on playing this game with? I was thinking the preschoolers, so three to four year olds. I bet the two year olds would enjoy the game and how they can play on the computer and learn their letters, but I think three to four year olds would benefit the most from it. Not a bad idea. Three-year-olds would be able to choose pictures and letters with a fair degree of accuracy. They can name the objects they see and answer the simple question. Four-year-olds would probably benefit the most, though. They can identify if paired words sound the same or different. That's what I'm hoping. How are you going to get the children to use it? Navigate through the game for them, and they'll watch on the screen. I'll get the mouse to hover over the letters to hear the sounds, and then have the children choose a letter. I'll click on the letter they choose so they can find out if they're right. If they aren't right, they're given another try to choose again. Has anyone actually used this game before in a classroom? I'm not too sure. I haven't been able to find any research on it, unfortunately. But I did find one woman, a mother with an autistic son who loves a TV show. The main character, Ubi, talks in a way that isn't too advanced for its young viewers. Her son was able to sit through the whole show without being overwhelmed. He even started developing his language skills a little better after starting watching the show. That's amazing. I never would have thought that because the language was so infantile that it would be so beneficial. I suppose it has its pros and cons, depending on who is playing the game. Let me give it a try. I want to see this game firsthand. I like how Obi gives positive feedback. Very motivating. If the child doesn't choose the right answer, uh, he gets to try again. You're right, but it's over really fast. After earning only three stars, then win, and the game is over. Won't they get bored of it? I mean, concern. This will only be new and interesting for so long, and they don't get very much control over the game, or too many choices. They get the choice to play again, but they don't get to choose the letter they learn about. It is a little restricting. I think I might try this game, use it one afternoon as a new activity just for the day. But I'd like it better if the software developer made a few changes. What kinds of changes? Well, to start, I'd give the children a lot more choices. Which character they are, which letter they learn about, more images to choose from? Exactly. I'd even have them add more levels. Instead of having the children win after earning three stars, they would move on to the next level. How could they add more levels to the game? They could add sounds, then three letters, words, then sentences. What about making it full screen so that the images are bigger and it's less likely that the child who gets a little mouse happy will navigate away from the screen? I think it would be a little better, too, if they were a little more interactive, have Obi talk to other characters in the game, then turn to the screen and talk to the child directly. Until those changes are made, I'm stuck with the game as it is. I'm sure the kids will enjoy it for an afternoon. Good luck!